this video, I'm going to put some apovar strips into the beehive to get rid of the mite infestation. And this is a synthetic chemical, whereas most mite treatments are actually organic, this is, uses amitraz, which is a synthetic chemical. Now, what you want to do before you even put the mite treatment in is remove the honey supers. That's something that I did earlier today. So you're going to have either just one deep brood box or maybe two brood boxes. In this case, this hive has two brood boxes. You want your chemical resistant gloves. You want your apovar strips. Now on the packaging, it does not say you have to wear a mask. However, it does have some directions if inhaled, move person to fresh air. So <laughs> wear a mask if you want to, if that makes you feel more comfortable. However, the directions do not specify that you need to wear a mask. It does not have a strong smell the way formic acid does. Um, it's not an absolute requirement the way oxalic acid is, but you know, uh, especially if you're nursing um, or pregnant, I would highly recommend wearing a mask. It's also good to have a pair of scissors with you, but um, in theory, you don't need scissors. So we already took our honey supers off and I already went through the beehive when I was harvesting honey and put markings on the frames. The markings on the frames show me where the brood is so that I don't have to guess at where to put these strips. I already know. I actually wear latex gloves first and then put these chemical resistant gloves on top. And that's just an extra measure that I take because I've used these gloves for other things and just opening them up sometimes freaks me out. <laughs> so we're going to open up the beehive and put the strips in. You want to put one strip in if you have one to five frames of brood. You put two strips in if you have six to ten frames of brood. Three strips for eleven to fifteen frames of brood. And you do not want to put more than two strips per box. Now in my brood box, I have marked that I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven frames of brood. So I'm going to put two strips in this box. You don't want to put the strips on two frames next to each other. You want there to be at least one frame in between these two frames. The strips have a little um, triangle piece and you are going to use that to wedge them between the frames. Now, since I have two brood boxes, I'm going to take this box off and do the same for the lower box. This box has four frames of brood, so I'm only going to put one strip in. So let's look at it from the beekeeper's perspective. I already labeled all of my frames in my hive with the letter P, which means there was poison in the hive when this frame was in. This is not just for sake of knowing not to harvest this honey, but also the comb. I have a dot where I have brood on these frames. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven frames of brood. I need two apovar strips. So I'm going to put them in the middle of the cluster, a couple of frames apart. 
And since this is a super, the strips go in at a little bit of an angle because this box isn't as deep. When you put these in, you want to bend this little flag and wedge it in between the strip and the frame. But if it seems like the strip is touching the side of the frame, the comb inside, you can use a toothpick. You're right in this strip as a hole. You can put a nail or a toothpick in there and hang the strip. However, I found that bending this little piece, and does anyone ever else have trouble finding gloves to fit people's small hands? I found that just bending the piece does a good job of keeping that strip wedged in the middle of the, the gap. And that's it. Once you've put the April bar strips in, you want to leave them in for six weeks. If after four weeks you check on your hive and you notice that the brood clusters move and there aren't many bees around your strips anymore, then move the strips to where the bees are now and leave your strips in for two more weeks. So now even some locations already, the April bar strips aren't incredibly effective and that's because they have been overused and left in the hive for too long by other beekeepers and a uh, varroa mite resistant to this chemical has already developed in your area. If that is not the case, then Amatrice is incredibly effective and really zeroes out your mite counts. Once you've taken your apivar strips out, you leave your beehive alone for two weeks before you put honey supers back on. So the apivar strips are something that you can use in the spring before your bees start gathering honey, typically a good two months before your bees are bringing in honey so that you have time to leave the strips in and leave the hive alone before honey season starts and you need to add supers or you can do it in the fall once you've already harvested your honey. The ideal time to do it is in the springtime, in the early springtime, because you don't want to put it on when you have honey supers on. Even if those honey supers are supers full of honey, you're not going to be eating. They're supers for the winter. Do you see this bee that's like right in my face? You can check your hive over the course of these four to six weeks while the April bar strips are in, but really keep it to a minimum. Um, check out maybe every other week if necessary and, and do a very quick inspection. Be very careful around these strips. Make sure you're wearing your chemical resistant gloves and try to just avoid these frames with the strips on them. And most importantly, after you've done all this, make sure you wash your tools, you wash your hands with soap really well, and you do not touch these strips or anything that these strips are on with your bare skin. How these strips work is the bees walk by them, they get the chemical on them, and they distribute this chemical around the hive. This chemical kills the mites, but it does not kill the bees. So this is not going to cause an immediate drop in mites uh, within your hive, it's something that slowly happens over the course of the next four to six weeks. The benefits of using the April bar strips are they're incredibly easy to put in. Uh, you put them in once and that's it. You never have to put in another round of them. Uh, you don't need any kind of equipment. Um, it, it's very simple. They're pretty cheap to buy and it's very effective in most locations. The, cons to using this strip is that it is a synthetic chemical. It's one of the harshest chemicals that you can actually put into the beehive. It is toxic if you touch it with your bare skin um, and so you cannot harvest the honey from uh, the hive that was in the hive when you use these strips and you do not want to use this beeswax for any kind of cosmetic use or any kind of consumption. And of course Read the label very carefully before you administer these strips. And make sure you have all of your protective gear with you and on before you open anything up. And to make sure that you are using the treatments properly and that it's actually working, 
the best thing to do is to do a mite test before you put your strips in and then do a test two weeks after you take your strips out. This will tell you how effective the strips are. If your mite count is 12, you put the strips in and then it's one or two, great. If it's like four or five, after you take the strips out, either you did something wrong or you have um, varroa mites in your hives that are resistant to the amatrax chemical used in these strips. So I know that mite tests aren't fun to do, but they only take a few minutes and it will really be the best for the overall health of your bees and really make beekeeping easier because there's no point in using a treatment if it's not going to work. And it's really just a waste of your time and money. If you have questions about this, leave them in the comments. If you live in an area where this, these strips don't work, I'd love to hear from you because I keep reading that there are areas where the apovar strips don't work. But here where we are in Kona, they work really well. And I've never actually met a beekeeper who lives in an area <laughs> where these strips don't work very well. And um, if you want to be notified about our other videos, we release a new video every single week. So hit the subscribe button and then there's a little bell icon. You hit that, then you'll get an email when we have a new video out. Thanks for watching.